I'm really excited and uh, happy to get on my bike each and every morning. Dan Schmidt cannot contain his little boy excitement on two wheels. We are crossing the bridge after 50 miles. But this cyclist's current excursion certainly isn't child's play. I've never done anything like this before, and it's quite a challenge. Every day is a test of endurance and perseverance. The Henrico man is riding on an adventure that would impress Lewis and Clark. It's a lot of problem solving, navigation and weather and mechanical issues on, on my bike. Dan is pedaling coast to coast from Washington State to Maine, a trip stretching about 4,500 miles. It's been pretty tough on my body so far. The first week was in the Washington Mountains, four big mountain passes, and that was, uh, that was quite uh, challenging. Lots of snow at the top, uh, very cold. The three-month trek is pulling Dan through states where Mother Nature's artwork is on full display. I just feel so happy every single day on my bike. Um, seeing such beauty. Yesterday, we rode along a lake for 45 miles and we saw more bears than cars. So that gives you an idea of the, of the great wilderness that we're in. Aside from a few days biking with his brother, Dan is cycling solo and unsupported. No hotels on his itinerary. Dan camps at night wherever he can pitch a tent. We've had a lot of rain and the winds have been against us at times, so it's, uh, you just have to keep a positive attitude and uh, keep pedaling forward. The arduous tour for this recent retiree is made easier by the kindness of strangers. It's Doug from Spokane. Uh, howdy! Because it's full of adventure, it's full of great, interesting and kind people, it's full of great scenery. The journey, which kicked off two weeks ago, is something Dan has dreamed about for decades. Having a good start along uh, Lake McDonald this morning. Absolutely beautiful. Dan was inspired after reading the book Kontiki, which told the story of six Norwegian men who sailed thousands of miles from South America to Polynesia. It really is rewarding to finally go on this journey. I've thought about it for over 30 years, and it's really great to hold on to a dream that long and finally just begin the journey. The trip isn't just one man crossing something off of his bucket list. This cyclist is fueled by a determination to help others facing physical challenges. Brother, we are going to the sun. The 62-year-old is pedaling for Sportable, the nonprofit which provides athletes with disabilities a chance to compete. Sportable is such an incredible organization and riding for this cause actually makes it so much more rewarding and easier, to, uh, to be honest. Dan's goal, raise $100,000. If you know Dan, it, it doesn't seem like something out of character for him. He thinks big. Cindy Schmidt, Sportable's Director of Development, says the cyclist's willingness to go the distance for others the going to the sun road shows his true character. The mission of Sportable is extremely important to Dan. He volunteers for our cycling program. Cindy has good reason for keeping a close eye on this rider's progress. Oh my gosh, I'm incredibly proud of him. Dan is Cindy's husband. He also wants to, to inspire people and show them that anything is possible if you set your mind to it. This determined cyclist is averaging about 50 to 75 miles a day. He's conquered about 800 miles so far. Long days in the saddle are not easy, but uh, I think my body will start to acclimate and, uh, and it will get easier as, you know, as I go. Each mile brings him closer to his final destination, but Dan is savoring every crank along the cross-country trek. It tests your patience, it tests your resolve, and uh, you just have to find a way to keep going. His inner drive to help others propels him forward, all while realizing a 30-year-old dream. We had a big day. Dan Schmidt. Still going strong. Is as happy and free as a boy on his bike, riding on a warm summer's day. I keep saying during the day, as long as the front wheel is moving forward, I'm winning. I just try to win as much as possible. It's been phenomenal and I can't wait to keep going and uh, see what uh, else unfolds.